I was I was watching AMC Movie News recently, okay, of course, and they were asking each other what their favorite movie with a female protagonist was, and their responses they were really stumped. It was it was pathetic. It was it was just it was sad. They were all kind of like, uh, and I know that there aren't <laughs> enough just, movie with movies with female protagonists out there, but there are a lot of great ones. So I pose the question to you guys: What is your favorite film with a female protagonist? Oh man, we're gonna have that weird moment where Ben got mad at AMC movies because they were like, uh, "The pressure's uh, off." Oh, I, mean, I, I I could go with a really obvious one: um, Kill Bill. Oh damn it! Yeah. Good, uh, good action movie. It really, again, it's it's Quentin Tarantino, so you know, good action, stylized, heavy on the dialogue. Yeah. Pretty good striking visuals, uh, good performances from everyone. It's, it, I, I, has Uma Thurman done anything since then? Oh, she's done plenty. Nothing you've seen. Okay. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> anyone has yeah. seen. And she did since then, but I don't want to cop to having seen that movie. <laughs> was it The Accidental Husband? It was Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Oh, I did see that. <laughs> yeah. You're right, she was in that. She wasn't very good in that, but she's good in this. Oh, she's so good in that. She was so that, good in Kill Bill. That's such a good one. Well, she can be good when she wants to be. Well, when she has a good director. I feel really bad because I really, oh, right off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. Ironically enough, we were watching Pitch Perfect before we started this. So in my mind, I'm like, Anna Kendrick is a female lead, but I wouldn't really say I admire her. But going off the Tarantino <laughs> aspect, I would go with Jackie Brown. Now, again, not, you're not Uma Thurman slicing her way through 150 <coughs> men, but she's smart. She gets caught in something she is going to go to jail for, so what does she do? She works to her advantage and plays everyone the whole time. You don't really know who she's fighting for until the end, and that's kind of cool. And it's one of those ones I feel nowadays people who are just getting into Quentin Tarantino will watch it and they'll go, it's boring, I don't get it, but when you watch it again, got a lot going on underneath the surface and that's kind of cool i mean she's strong and he he go, he wrote the role and or well he didn't write the role but he had he adapted the book rum punch and thought of her the whole time and i think that's cool we knew more of that yeah i got I, another one what i got another one um this Good. is sort of like a sharing the lead between a uh, guy and a girl but um the 2010 coen brothers version of true grit I did not like True Grit. Oh, I loved it. Oh, I feel so bad. But it's still my favorite Western. I'm about to watch it. It's... I just got it. But, uh, it's... Haley Steinfeld? Haley Steinfeld. Wow. As She's Maddie Ross. She's fantastic in this, in the movie. She's like this 14-year-old Terminator who's so obsessed with getting revenge for, for her dad's murder. And... Jeff Bridges is there, and he's I like Jeff pretty Bridges. great, too. If there's a lot of parts of that movie that I liked, but when added up, I just didn't care for it as a whole. All right. But, you know. So that's that's another one that's good. that I liked. Ben, strong female protagonist? Well, I uh, there, there are a couple over the years that I might have put in that spot. I, I still love Juno. I still love Moonstruck. Oh, good, she is a good one, yeah. Yeah. But completely uh, unbelievable. But yeah, I love her. It's not necessarily realistic. <laughs> That's but what I mean. <laughs> there you go. But I those for me have more or less been eclipsed by blue is the warmest color, just because it's so it's so devastating. <laughs> and you still haven't watched that. It's in my queue. <laughs> it's does that it's count? Not. I, I don't. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. <laughs> it's it's an emotionally wounding film, but in a good way. I oh. mean, you go. I I I watch it. I watch it. I think like five times now. Do you just want to point out that's 15 hours. And I know. Yeah, well, that's but, a lot of time. But the, the the thing is, like you, you, it's it's so heartbreaking because you know things did not go well for the main character Adele. But at the same time. There's something so, so I think, uh, like, like satisfying about, like, getting inside a character's head like that. Like you're with her in every moment. You're with her when she's just hanging out in her room doing nothing. When she's eating a butterfinger because she's upset. <laughs> I mean, it's, it it shows you so many details. You get really close to her. I mean, you by the. By the end of the movie, you, you feel like she's a friend. You don't see her as a character. You see her like someone you know. And for me, that's a rare thing for 
any movie with a male or female protagonist, and that's that's something unique. I think that doesn't happen often. So that's why I put it at number one on, on this on this particular spectrum. Bonus points. Does Wild Style for the Lego Movie count? Yes. Then her. <laughs> Come um, with me if you do, if you want to not die. <laughs> we're talking about emotionally wounding movies. Uh, I'm going to throw out Young Adult. Oh, uh, I love that movie. Oh, She's so unlikable. But oh, in such a good way, point. though. She's awesomely unlikable. She, it's, it's, I, I kind of liken it to, uh, to Catcher in the Rye. Yes. Just like yeah. you, you watch it, like the first way through, you're kind of laughing at how much of a misanthrope this person is. And then you realize why they're that way, and it's so depressing and so sad. And oh. by the end of it, it's just bleak. Just really brings you down. Oh. And and it, I, I, I like that it got a reaction like that out of me. I'm not, I'm not sure. I liked the movie. I didn't like being depressed like that. <laughs> What? But I liked the emotional reaction that I got out of me. And Charlie's there, Charlie's there, and she is outstanding. She is, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. my God. She's a great actress. Yeah. Still got it. Mm. It's a, such a compelling film because she has a chance for redemption, and she doesn't take it. She's like, she's maybe worse than she was at the beginning, at the end. And that's just a cycle. It's just going to start over again. Yeah, and that, oh. like, is so... It's it's so unconventional. It's kind of exhilarating in a way. Like you, you're you're kind of behind her. Like you kind of want to say, like, go out and kick the world's ass with your obnoxiousness. I mean, <laughs> that's how I live my life. 